Good morning, it's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And I am here in Bayho, California at an installation that we did a few years ago. This garden was on the Claremont Garden Tour last year. So almost a year ago today was the last time I saw this garden. And I just wanted to show you how magnificent it is. I brought, there are a total of four of us here to do maintenance and pretty much the only thing we need to do is dust. I tell you, these plants are amazing. Look at the xeriscapes. This was an area that had some tired shrubs in it and the client was having a really difficult time because uh, people kept pulling into the driveway and busting the irrigation. Uh, it's on a down slope when the irrigation worked, there was a lot of runoff. So I said, you know what? Let's cap the irrigation and do succulents. Take a look at the Cynthia Giddy, the Aloe Cameronii, the Dazzlerian, or, or I'm sorry, Hesper Aloe. Look at this Brevifolia, Aloe Brevifolia. Isn't this so beautiful? And here's another Cameronii, but we brought the broom because we've got a lot of spider webs. So we'll do some, some cleaning of the webs, but this installation, has held up in a spectacular fashion. Take a look here at the crown of thorns. This is ready red, available at Waterwise Botanicals in Escondido. It's looking amazing there right now too. I highly recommend this particular milii for really beautiful blooms. Say hi to Viv. Hi Viv. <laughs> <laughs> That's Viv. Look at the Aeonium sunbursts. Just blooming, well not blooming, but sparkling. One thing that I am going to do, and I wanted to show you, was go after this agave. This is Kitokan, and I want this plant uh, as a specimen. I don't want pups, so I don't want to see a stand of it. And these pups are really easily propagated too. So I want to show you an easy way to depup your mama agaves. Just lift up the root ball a little bit. Remember, this is a succulent and these plants are really tough. So don't worry about stressing some of the roots. Not a problem. But once you get a little space between the soil and the plant, these pups are really easy to pop right off of the mama. And now we've got a brand new baby start. So you can work your way all the way around the agave and just remove the pups. This mom has got about a, probably a dozen babies on her. And isn't she a magnificent specimen? We've got specimen aloes that are in full bloom. Lots of petalanthus. Here's, remember what I tell you about euphorbia sticks on fire? and how it can get as big as an SUV. This is a good example. Now here's my dilemma. This is about as big as I want this to get. This is a very large home. We have very large specimen plants in this little garden area. We've got some tall borrowed landscape. And frankly, this sticks on fire is really perfect right now. I love the size. Probably not gonna love it next year. So next year, I will bring in the heavy equipment. We will likely dig this whole thing out and reset the pieces. But for now, I'm really, really happy with that. I can't encourage you enough to get out in your gardens this spring. Spring makes everything new. And it is the most inspirational thing in the world to be out amongst your landscape at this time of the year. This has been Laura Eubanks reporting from Bayhoe, California with your succulent tip of the day.